you know, I, I can't say that you need to choose. I, I find myself traveling a lot, so I can't carry many books. So I used to carry a little Kindle, you know. Then I find myself commuting a lot where I can't read or watch something when I'm commuting. So listening to audio is great and it helps you close your eyes and you can, you know, it's a much more relaxing way to listen and a much more also concentrated way because it's just in your ears. Uh, one of the books I read uh, when I was younger was called Age of Innocence by Edith Wharton. One book, every actor. Oh, there's a great book uh, by, I think it's David Mamet, and it's called, now the title, like it's called True, uh, True or False, uh, something True or False, A Guide to an Actor. I'll, I'll have to Google the exact title. But it's basically an actor's handbook. And it gives you just the simple rules of acting, like learn your lines, don't bump into the furniture, you know, be professional, be audible, heard. <laughs> so, you know, it, it's, 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 a, it's a very sarcastic and brilliant book for any actor, uh, especially because, you know, we have a tendency as actors to over-dramatize, to over, like, you know, play things. And this really teaches you, like, what the basics are. <laughs> to Shah Rukh Khan, uh, the talented Mr. Ripley. Uh, poems by E.E. E. Cummings. Uh, yeah. Hmm. I will give him... Uh, a cookbook. <laughs> Why a cookbook for Raj Kumar? I just think that uh, he probably reads all, a lot and I just think that that's something that he wouldn't have. <laughs> um, Radhika Apte. Um, <laughs> Radhika Apte. Oh God. Uh, what, would I, what would I gift her? Um, the drama of the gifted child. I just think it's a very interesting character. Uh, Sister Nivedita, uh, her real name was Margaret Noble. She was an English woman uh, who came and followed uh, Swami Vivekananda at, at a very young age when she was, um, you know, only 23 or something. And she spent her life here in, uh, in Calcutta. And she was at a time where the British were ruling, but she was uh, supporting the freedom movement for India. So here was this cuckoo, the British thought, who is this cuckoo woman? She's, she's British and here she is like talking about uh, Hindu, uh, you know, uh, it, it being a Hindu country or Indian country and, and freedom fighters. And the freedom fighters were also like, Ye kaun hai? she doesn't know anything about our culture. She's British. So she was kind of caught in between these two worlds. And I found that really interesting working. <laughs> <laughs> I love my job. <laughs>